this is Riverside Studio VFX and today we're going to be working on color correction and color grading inside Blender. This is the image we're going to be working with and uh, this is the final image. All of these skills can be applied to video as well but today for simplicity we're going to be working with an image. Alright so we just opened up Blender and now we're going to open up the uh, node editor so now we'll just hit end or hit a lot and pick this one and we'll use node now we're not using a render tray so we can just delete this and hit yes and so now we'll need a okay and so now we need a viewer node so we'll save it all and to input an image be using a video just give you a quick image is also worth a quick image as well so we'll hit a lot now we need to open up the UV image editor sure all of your uh, dimensions are pretty accurate just so the math doesn't mess up too much okay so let's bring that back in I'm using a MacBook uh, head so we'll hit control and we'll drag this to make sure it's accurate so that all the little handles will be accurate doesn't need to be perfect because of the feather weight on there. Okay, so now we're going to use the uh, toggle flex head. So we'll put this by hitting F. And now we're just going to reposition it to orientation. feather and we'll just drag it a bit and then you can uh, zoom in a little bit and just drag your this green this green line out and that'll be like your feather area okay so once you're finished with your feathering we're gonna go back into node editor so now you want to insert your uh, mask Drag this over here. And make sure you choose your mask. So let's duplicate this by using Shift D and drag this over. So this is what the mask looks like. It, it kind of has a like nice rounded look to it, and this looks really natural once you put it into the color correction mode. So instead of just using a flat um, rotoscoper. Alright, just going to use an alpha over and drag this image in. I'm just going to pull this down to black and set the alpha to zero. Alright, so now we have secluded just the head so we can just color correct the head and not the whole image. So now we will put the, over the head over top of the, the rest of the image using an alpha over. Oops. All right. Well, now we're going to use a RGB curve. Okay, 
so that I can see all of that uh, that just affects that region that we chose. Now we're just gonna um, work with this a little bit more and precise it a little bit more to what we want. That's better. All right, now we're just gonna do this back by put it zero zero to get it back to the normal curve. Oops. All right, there we go. So now we get the skip color back. Pull it apart. All right, now we're gonna boost up the uh, the red a little bit down the blue so we get like an orange orange skin tone next we're gonna duplicate that and put in the background and we're gonna do a little bit about reverse less red more blue or not not as much blue So now we're going to pull in another one just to, so we can color correct the whole image. So in this one, we're just going to make the whole image darker. And pull these back to normal. We're almost finished. Alright, so we're here. And we'll add in... Okay, well, these are the other two things we'll use. We'll probably use contrast and slash brightness and uh, hue and saturation. These are very important for color correction as well. So we'll just add in some contrast and, and with that I think we're finished. So we're gonna see how how much that adds to the image. Oh, um, this also works with videos. You can just keyframe this using the uh, insert shape key. And I'm just going to show you real quick how you can do that. So you can um, move your color correction with the character if you want to, which is really helpful like for videos and stuff. You want to see it moving. Now I'm not really a color corrector or whatever colorist, but but this is just the basis of how to do it in Blender. So. so now, of course, you 
pull that over and build it up to the compositor and and this added quite a bit to the end engine. I'm just going to show you what the original looked like and what the final looks like. So I think that looks a lot better. And it's just a really easy way to make your videos look a lot better. Uh, thanks for watching.